You'll start tomorrow morning, and then you can go home shortly. Um, and I think Tandy's gone over each of the drugs and the side effects. We'll go over that tomorrow when you start. ARVs are now a way of life for many people, and AIDS is no longer a death sentence. Here at the Kaiskama Trust HIV and AIDS Treatment Centre, people come from villages all around to be assessed and begin their treatment. Um, it was, um... Carol started the centre and is the only doctor working there. She believes caring for people's health, enabling them to earn a living and art, are all closely linked. Well, there's very little point in making people better if they can't earn an income. And the AIDS epidemic all over Africa has made people realise that, uh, that the treatment of HIV is completely holistic. Unless you look at the family, unless you look at the income, unless you give people meaning for life, which is what art can do. People often recover their health quickly when they start ARVs, but they have to carry on taking them for the rest of their life. It's important to monitor them regularly, so the treatment centre employs a team of village health workers to do that. Nosisa is one of them. She looks after people in her village and the surrounding area. The exhibition of the altarpiece in London is raising money to pay her salary and the salaries of the other village health workers. <coughs> Nomvusalelo has AIDS and is on ARVs. Okay. It's a complicated cocktail of drugs twice a day, and Nasisa is checking that she's taking them correctly. Without village health workers, we would have almost no access to the homes and lives of the patients that we're treating. And in order to treat a patient, it's essential that you know what's going on at their home. And when there's a problem, someone can report it to us. Jobs here are scarce, and the money Nasisa earns from her work means she can pay for food for her family and for the education of her children. Many people living with AIDS have other health problems and need the support of the village health workers. Pumsa has recently been to hospital because of severe pains in her legs. The doctor gave her crutches and told her he didn't know what was wrong with her. I have a problem with my legs. Dr. Baker wrote me a letter to go to the orthopedic clinic in Frey Hospital. And then the doctors told me I never walk with actresses because there's nothing they can do. And they didn't know what is it I'm having? So, now I'm working with a crisis. I think it's my whole life. Noma Temba has been visiting Pumza regularly ever since she discovered she was HIV positive. She came to me one day and she disclosed her status to me. And we sit down and talk and talk and just give her a moral support that it is not the end of the world. She must continue with her life uh, as, as it is was before. Since Noma Tepa helped me at the first time I was diagnosed I'm HIV positive, she has a care about me. She was like my sister or my mom. Caroline is also a village health worker, but she has first-hand experience of AIDS. She's on ARVs herself, so she knows exactly what it's like for the people she visits. Mm. 
Uzikimpela as Billis. Since 17, 18, 19, 20. When I found out that I was HIV positive, I think about my children. They are too young. They need to go to school. They, 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 they need a mother. So I stand up for myself and I said, I am going to help other people to be like me, to know that HIV positive is not the end of the world. For Carol, the health work and the art go hand in hand. For a long time when I worked in medicine, it, it began to seem pointless and that's why I studied art and art gives meaning and people have to get better to get to a life that has meaning and art is something that gives people that meaning so it's a, it's a dual thing you do for people, you make their bodies better and you give their lives meaning through art. Eunice Mangwane is the grandmother at the centre of the altarpiece with her grandchildren. One is HIV positive. She also works as an HIV and AIDS counsellor at the treatment centre. The altarpiece, I would describe it as something that has broken the barriers between the infected and the affected people. It has brought healing within our community. It has brought hope within our community, this altarpiece, really. <laughs> It's the night of the Kaiskama Trust event to raise money for the village health workers in Hamburg. The, the first panel is about crucifixion. We all know the Bible story. And these children here, as you can see, uh, those are orphans. Their parents died of HIV and AIDS and they left with no parents. And <laughs> On that side, you will see there is a tree of hope. Down there, you will find our community of uh, people. Uh, the uh, evening ends with a message from Eunice, dedicated to all those affected by HIV and AIDS. <laughs>